everyone and welcome back or welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing our monthly budget and for those of you who are subscribing been with me my last video um was about a month ago. Well I've pretty much been out most of August from work. I had a real a real bad nosebleed the first of August which lasted about six days. I ended up in the hospital. I just realized I didn't do August it's budget because I pretty much was sick. And um to kind of find out it was high blood pressure, stress, and I hadn't been taking my medicine, I'll be honest. And yeah, so then after that I caught COVID, just like directly out of the hospital. Not from the hospital, but my daughter had caught it. She was home. So yeah. Anywho, let's start on September. I hate that I didn't do August, but I know I checked some things off through my calendar. That's something else I need to do my calendars. But we're just going to start on September. And I want to get back in the swing of things. I have my wallet here because I plan. I'm actually going out of town once I finish this video. But I have my wallet here because I wanted to stuff some envelopes. I thought about doing it with this video, but I think it'll just be too long. So we're just going to start here with our monthly budget also if you are new here these inserts you can find in my shop i'll try to remember to leave the link below and um it's just i love it for using my monthly budget i do want to kind of switch it up for 2023 but i'm already long-winded i've already been gone in a while so let's hop right on into it so first off we're going to start start off with our sources of income one being hair now, I normally put down nails, but while I was out, my only few little clients, they basically went somewhere else to get their nails done. So I just don't even want to include nails. So I'm going to put miscellaneous and Norris Cove. <sighs> Y'all, it's just been something else. So projected for hair, I'm going to put 3500 I like more than that, but that's what we're going to go with. Miscellaneous, I don't expect anything. Uh, Norris Cove, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put 100. I'm really going to try to do more work with Norris Cove and get back again in the swing of things. So that leaves our total at 3,600. So clothes and paper this month, it's going to come out on the 15th. So I got to remember that. But Amazon came out on the 1st. And that was $15.89. Community, I've paid them. Just waiting on them to clear. <sighs> it, it, and I'm playing catch up. I owe back booth rent because I was technically out of work for like oh, two weeks. And remember, I went and kept my nephew for a week. And I just, thank God, I had the, my work that Saturday to get the money. Shopify for last month was $29. Um, I haven't paid them yet. Credit one, I've paid them. So my budget is gonna be really, really tight this month. But you guys, let me tell you, when I was in that hospital bed, I just thought of everything. And my finances was one of them because I was not prepared. Um, I just wasn't, I'm just gonna be totally honest with you. You all have seen how my budget goes. You see how I pay bills and things like that. I had no savings. And I'm in the hospital worried about bills. And I just didn't think that was cool. You know what I'm saying? I just thought, Yoshida, you have failed yet again. But not necessarily failed. I failed myself. I failed my finances. You know, and I always say, oh, I'm going to save up for a sick day. Because, you know, with hairstylists, we don't, you know, get sick days and things like that. I'm writing down Chase. Oh, I did Chase. Credit, uh, capital one. Uh, do I have some white out here? So anyway, I'm thinking about all of that stuff while I'm in a hospital bed, okay? I'm thinking how I got there, of course, not taking care of my health and things like that. And I was like, I've made a promise to God. I said, Lord, listen, if I get out of here and I live, <laughs> I'm okay, I'm going to do better. And I'm going to, I don't care if I save 20 $25 a week, whatever. I'm going to save something, you know, when I get out of here because I don't want to be put in this position again because I'll be back here stressing out about bills and I don't want to do that. So, 
I've done great this week. I'm not going to say great, but still just trying to catch up, you know, on bills. And I am behind. I mean, I caught up fairly quickly that first week I was back. But there's the ones that was just like wasn't really important that I'm behind in an old back booth rent. So I have to pay pay that i've been luckily the owner of the salon she's very sweet and she's allowing me to give what i can so kudos to her but i need to get myself together i forgot car note number one in here so and i realized i'm looking at this budget i forgot car note number two i mean car note number one though last time so car note number one and car note number two is eighty-one sixty a piece, and car insurance twenty-eight. So yeah, like car insurance, I need to pay that. It's just I've got to get back on track, and I was doing so well. I had to borrow from my life insurance to help with bills. So your girl is like, I'm gonna put the fifth here. For T-Mobile, I already know I got to give them uh, $285. I really owe to her. I ain't going to even tell you how much I owe T-Mobile. Um, I'm going to owe them T-Mobile $199. But, yeah, so I, like, said, Yoshida, you've got to get it together. And you got to make an effort with these cash envelopes. you got to make an effort with savings. And, again, you all see how I pay my bills and how I get paid. And sometimes it's just not there. You know, like this week, my T-Mobile, I forgot about it, is due, booth rent, back booth rent, regular bills, and the little money I had set aside. I set aside like $50 from about like last week. And then, um, so this week, I just tried to add what I could to it. So it's not a whole lot that I'm stuffing. But I said, Lord, how am I supposed to save if I got to, you know, always play catch up? So I always, I had in the back of my mind that thought, and it says, pay yourself first and like, don't touch it. So I'm like, okay, just imagine if you're paying somebody off your shoe, you just can't pay a bill. You just don't have it, you know, not right now. So just try to do a small amount. So that's what I'm doing is just trying to start small. So my cash stuffings will be small again until I can pretty much catch up. Um, I'm very ashamed. <laughs> I'm slightly embarrassed because at my big age, I don't have a savings. I don't have a retirement. And I've just been self-employed most of my life. Uh, all of my adult life, to be honest. And I thought about it. I'm going to give you a good example. Like, okay, I have down here $1,000 for booth rent. I'm going to make it because I've given her, I'm down to, so 1450 is what I need to pay. Okay. And my daughter has my calculator and let me see if we have another calculator here, but I'll add that up. Um, I want to put into my savings this month, at least a hundred dollars. So I'll put that down. That's just the minimum. And I can't think of an account number. I already have $50 in there so far. So it'll be $150. And I transfer $50 over today to my savings account because I'm just like, I got to do better. I just got to do better. And I had this realization. Let me zoom out. I had this realization. I was watching P Valley and the young lady, you know, she's been stripping and she was like, you know, she saved $20,000 up over seven years. Um, you know, dancing, and her mother still lit, da da da. And I was like, dang, I've been doing this 30 years, and I don't have 20,000. If I could have probably had more, you know, so over 30 year period, I could have had more, of course, than I should have a million. Okay, let's just be honest. I should have over a million dollars saved, and I don't. So I know I can't catch that up, not unless I hit the lottery, but it is what it is. I need to get on it. In fact, let me add it up and then I'll come back and give you a total of the total amount that I owe, but we're expecting $3,600 for the month. And normally, let's check in. I have not any new bills, but that's not right. Oh, it is. Um, normally, it's like almost $2,500 a month that I pay. So let me do the math and I'll come right back.
And as you can see, our total is 29 39 73 So we're on almost $3,000 worth of bills. So when I take away, we're just going to round it out to $3,000. That leaves me with $600. And then I'll have the $150, well, $100. And that leaves me with roughly around $500 that I'll have left and I do, I, I haven't done groceries, I haven't done miscellaneous. So I'm gonna go back again to my cash envelopes. And in the beginning, when I do my cash envelopes, it's gonna be clearly just to start and prayerfully not touch until I can build up a certain amount. Um, I don't even know if I wanna do my self care in there yet. I may have to slack on my self care. Christmas is gonna be a little shaky. So those envelopes won't be started immediately but definitely my savings emergency funds of course i want to catch up some debt i want to pay off you know some things so we're going to focus on that but that's all that i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for your patience i want to welcome all my new subscribers i pray that you stick around and if today is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoy today's content please do me a favor hit that subscribe button also leave me a comment it really helps me um get out there so others can see my content and i pray that you subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye